Wanna see a deal that we purchased for less than 30K? <laughs> of a building that we purchased in Edmonton, Alberta with agreement for sale for less than $30,000. We're going to show you the good, the bad, and what we see as investors. If you're new to our channel, make sure to subscribe and hit the bell to be notified as we release a video every single week. A little bit about Mel and I, we've now purchased over 264 units in five different countries. Canada, US, Costa Rica, Mexico, and Dominican Republic, and we Specialize doing so with other people's money and no joint venture partners and we're the proud founders of the Action Family Mentoring Program where we show people to do the same thing that we do. Now let's get started. Come check out our seller finance deal here in Alberta. Come on over. The power is so off, so I'm going to be walking around here with my flashlight. That happens when we take over a new place. Kitchen is over here. Very nice kitchen. Fridge. All there. I like what they did with the barn board. Yeah, a nice bathroom off of here. You won't be able to see it, but they did some nice decor in there. Nice and modern. Again, there's Mel with the flashlight. Cool. If you're an investor, every Val's investors, you got to walk through with a flashlight on your phone. Super awesome. So it's going to be kind of that open concept, right? Someone could have a living room here, dining room, uh, nice natural light. Yeah, that one. Hey, that's what happens when you take possession of new buildings. It was all negotiated in the price. It's a cool, uh, cool main floor. All right, let's make our way to the garage first. Come on over. The cool thing as well is, right, there's the door. So in the winter time, because this is Edmonton, Alberta, it's going to have a lot of snow and be really cold. They're going to have their own spot to park and bring their groceries up. Manager to clean those up, yeah. put those down, and I noticed earlier too, attention to detail, I can't close those doors, I gotta get these fixed as well, you wanna make sure everything's done before the tenants move in as well. Otherwise you're just gonna get a phone call after. Nice en suite off of it, yeah, right? Yeah, en suite too, shower over here as well. I love how you have your flashlight ready now. <laughs> True investor. There you go, that's right. True investor. Pretty bedroom, pretty basic. So two bedrooms so far. But I love this over here, come with me here. Some storage here. I love these windows. I love that they have that natural light. Nice balcony. Boom. Who balcony. Like that? And I really cool. A couple chairs here. This is one of two, and this is actually the smallest one. Now the cool thing is, nice view of the neighborhood, right? Have some coffee here in the morning. Oh, Mover truck. People are gonna be moving in here soon. All right, super cool. Right, people that are commuting. I saw there's a commuting lane over there. We're close to the University of Alberta. It's a great neighborhood. There's some development that's going to be happening beside us. That's a sign of growth. Yes, we love awesome. development. All right, let's go to the third floor. Master bedroom here. Definitely got to get this one out of the way. But it's a nice size. Yeah, nice size bedroom here. Let me go back in the corner just to show the size of it. Yeah. Probably like what, 10 by 10, 10 by 12? I'm bad at uh, guesstimating these types of things. People like that, right? Both have here as well, so they have their own wall. What's up, YouTube? I gotta make oh, my way in the video God. somehow. Woo. So, two closets, right? Ensuite, full tub, right? Master bedroom ensuite. And then, boom, this is the best part. This is where I'm having my morning coffee oh, and nice. writing my journal and that type of stuff. Nice big balcony. So cool thing is, right? The, and again, it's overgrown right now. Like this is the reality. When you buy places, there's stuff left behind. I don't even know where that window is, but there's stuff. <laughs> and we're looking for things to correct as well. Like look at over here, Dave. Oh we yes. Explain it. Okay, so tip here. What do you notice that is wrong on the edge here? Okay, let me zoom into the other one. 
So, what do you notice there? There's some capping, there's some metal, there's some finishing there. Ours does not have it, so we are contacting the condominium board to say, hey, this is exterior, please fix it before water starts coming in. So pro tip, always make sure that those types of things are fixed. I think it also had it on the second floor. I didn't show you there, but I'm not gonna leave my phone over. I'll lose it. But think about this, you're in close to the University of Alberta. Mel, this is most likely gonna be students that are gonna rent this, yeah, right? Yeah, I think the location's perfect for them. I love the sizes for, uh, for students as well. Just yeah. gotta fine tune those little details and I then get the place rented. Whew. Okay, so a couple of things, like if I was in school, like when I was in college, I would have been like, I call dibs on the master top floor bedroom with the sweet balcony. But look at this, this, things like this, as you're going through, uh, 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 like an investor, where's the crank to open the window? It's these little things, right? We gotta move this out of the way. This monstrosity. <laughs> uh, okay, come with me over here. Door, you place a door. And you're like, how do people miss that? Again, these are the things that people will miss. So this is where you need to make sure you have a property manager going in or if you happen to be able to see it for yourself. Fire code, I used to be a firefighter. You need one on every level, especially outside of sleeping quarters. Let's go back down. So if we weren't able to visit this one ourselves, we would have asked for this kind of detailed video so we can see those things. And of course, ask the property manager to make sure that everything is fixed before they start viewings. Simple things like this, right? Face plates. Like these are the things, as an investor, I already know what the rent is. We already know what we're gonna rent it for, how much profit we're gonna make. But come here, we'll show you a couple more things. That sounds simple, but again, boom, life-saving, not there. Well, I yeah, noticed so over yeah. here, let's get that covered, right? It's, it's the reason why people go, oh, you know, I wish that was covered. Let's not, uh, let's prevent the issue before it becomes an issue. I totally agree. So that's the beauty. Again, nothing's ever perfect unless you do a new build, but these are minor cosmetic. All we know is this is zoned properly. This is going to cash flow. We only had to put like 20 something thousand dollars down. It's an Ooh. agreement for sale. Other people's money, we borrowed it. And the renovations are also going to be done with other people's money. And in 21 months from now, when our term is done, this place is going up. It's going to be sold for a lot more money than we bought it for. Follow me to the kitchen. So we're back in the kitchen and we wanted to show you that not every asset that you purchase is perfect from the beginning and we wanted to show you what Mel and I look for when we're actually doing a walkthrough. Now, key takeaway here, so yes it's cool to walk through and see the balconies and it's close to the university and how much market rent we're going to get. One of the biggest things with our negotiation on this is when we walked around, when the inspection, like we got this inspection, we live in North Bay, Ontario, Canada and this is in Edmonton. And it's uh, our first time seeing it. It's our first time in ever person. being in, Alberta, in Edmonton. No, we've been out here before, but Edmonton. So we knew about all these things because the inspection report gave it to us. We did not need to fly here, but we came here for the stampede. Now, when we're going through, all of these key little items added up, and that's what helped us negotiate the price that we got. The other thing that we love as well is this also kept off a lot of other investors because they went, oh no, a broken window. Oh no, what about this? That's, that's nothing. Easy. Like, especially easy, easy fixes and ugh. not very expensive either. This is a, a, a palace compared to some of the deals Mel and I have walked through, right? So again, when you're looking, when you're walking through places, don't let those little smoke detectors, windows be, you know, cracking or things like that be a huge nuance. Those can all be fixed. It's the big things like zoning and, and you know, what the rents are and what you're going to do with it. And most importantly, now what do we say you need to do before you enter a deal? You gotta make sure you exit, right? You have to make sure you have that clear exit strategy. And those little things that we showed you today, that's all they are, little things. So if you're working with a property manager, if you can't be there yourself, those little details, ask for pictures, ask for videos, and they can. it's easy to go, oh, you know what, there's a broken window, we need to replace it, or change this here, or get this fixed. Those things aren't very expensive. So thank you for staying right to the end. Hopefully you like this type of walkthrough raw video where we show you there's no electricity, it's in between tenancies. We don't even have mics because we forgot them in North Bay, but we decided, hey, hope you don't mind. We did it anyways. And if you like this kind of video, make sure to subscribe to our channel if you're not already and give us a like as well. And for even more content, make sure to check out our next video. I'm Mel. I'm Dave. And we'll see you in the next one.